This morning in my email, you can see before I even woke up, it was at 5.08 a.m. I had a $2,800 commission come through. And you can see that I'm, I'm blocking out personal information uh, such as name, email, and phone number. But this was pretty cool to wake up to and the day is not even done yet. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan with Freedom Influencer and I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. One that I don't typically do which is more of like a, a vlog type style video but it's still having to do with online entrepreneurship and affiliate marketing. So I thought I would do more of a day in the life uh, of an online entrepreneur affiliate marketer. So I showed you guys uh, commissions that rolled in this morning. This is one of the cool things uh, about creating true passive income, all right? So at the time of filming this video, yesterday was Veterans Day. So I am still in the military, so today is Monday, following Veterans Day, which we have off of work. So really what my day has consisted of, and I wanna share some stuff with you on the computer here in just a little bit as far as what I do as an entrepreneur when I'm not A, working in the military for my, my job, and then two, what do I do as an entrepreneur uh, as far as my time? What's, what do I do for my hobby? And I wanna share one of the biggest things uh, that I personally do because guess what? I'm just like a lot of other entrepreneurs. Just because I've created some sort of success in my business doesn't mean that I'm not like most other people trying to get better, trying to develop myself. So I'll share that a little bit with you guys as well. So let's just talk about my morning. What have I done? It's a little bit into the afternoon uh, today and I will share what this with you guys and show you what time it is in the kitchen. I should be able to just... All right, 148. All right, 148. So we're, we're into the afternoon. Whoa, <laughs> we're into the afternoon now, so I thought I'd decide to make a, a video. So here's what happened this morning, you guys. Is actually my wife and I, ahead of time, we're getting ready for Christmas and cleaning up the house outside. So we had a couple of people come by. We had people come by to basically measure out the front of our house to see how much it's going to cost to put up custom Christmas lights. And what would happen is they measured outside and they're going to be able to cut the lights and they're gonna be custom to our home and then every year they're going to come back out and put the, the Christmas lights up. So uh, they're gonna charge more the first time to be able to set that up and then as they come out every year to put the Christmas lights up, it'll just be a flat rate. So that was the first thing we did. We had someone come out and do that. And then the next thing is we also had someone come out and give us a a quote for cleaning up around the house. So one of those things is the gutter, which I'll go around back and show you guys later, but we have someone actually coming out tomorrow. Uh, we have the hose there, so that way they can clean out gutters and then just clean up uh, around the grounds. We have actually a tree out front that needs to be trimmed uh, because we have rodents getting up onto the roof because if you guys didn't know, you're not supposed to have any vegetation touching your roof and we actually do so we got to get that fixed but I want to show you guys a little bit of what our uh, our roof looks like and the gutters of why why we're actually hiring this out to get it clean first of all if you guys don't know uh, if you're not outsourcing stuff in your life or in your business or you don't have the means to do it just understand that later in your business like I'm very capable of doing all this stuff some people ask me, why are you hiring that out? You can't clean your own gutters? Yes, of course I can clean my own gutters. Of course I can trim, trim up brush, but what you have to understand is when you're running a business, and like I do part-time from home, every minute counts, okay? So every time that I have the opportunity to leverage my time to grow my business, I'm gonna choose to do that and then outsource like working around the house. And actually, I have not outsourced uh, my, my lawn service, I've, I have yet to hire that out yet, but coming this next summer, 
I'll probably be separating from the military. I'll be, you know, an, a full-time online entrepreneur. So what most people would think is what would make sense is to do it themselves to save money. I'm doing exactly opposite, opposite of that. So I'm gonna be losing my income for my military if I do get out. And at the same time, I'm gonna spend more money to, to have these things outsourced so I have more time to work on my business. So I hope that makes sense, you guys. It's important, but I'm gonna try and zoom in so you guys can see up here. This is one of the reasons why we're doing this. I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera, but we have, we have uh, stuff growing out and you can probably see the, the moss up there as well. But we have, we have stuff growing out of our, out of, uh, off of our roof and in our gutter. So that's why we are going to get that taken care of uh, Fairly soon actually I think tomorrow. So that's kind of cool. So I want to share with you guys what I do. What what do I do as an entrepreneur? Um, and and what I do on a daily basis if I'm not creating content if I'm not doing email marketing if I'm not actually actively um, Working my business. What do I do as an entrepreneur what I've always done and this it can be dangerous too, is being careful with your time. So I wanna show you guys uh, a, another commission that has actually rolled in today. So I'll show you guys that real quick and then I'm gonna jump up on the computer. All right, 11.57 a.m. just before noon today, had another sale come through, a thousand dollar commission uh, even before noon so pretty cool stuff all right so what I want to do is I want to jump on the computer with you guys and I want to share with you some of my favorite YouTube channels that I follow okay now I'm not always on these same channels I just thought that I would share these with you because I know that you guys can get value if you are looking for more inspiration if you're looking for tips on how to become an internet entrepreneur obviously you can follow my channel right here subscribe to the channel we are all about uh, online entrepreneurship creating a passive income for yourself affiliate marketing that's what this channel is all about but I want to share other uh, channels with you that I follow that I watch videos for motivation and to learn how to become a better entrepreneur okay so I'm gonna flip this around and the first one is Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone is very polarizing. Uh, he's got a lot of followers that love him and he also has a lot of people that hate him. But I, I absolutely love Grant Cardone. I actually didn't really like him when I first heard of him. So go check him out. Uh, the next one is gonna be ODI Productions. He's also a lot into affiliate marketing. I love the stuff that he puts out. He's got great content as well. Uh, of course, Gary Vaynerchuk, if you're anywhere in the online space of growing a business as an online entrepreneur, you've probably heard of him. I love how straight to the point he is, all right? And he, between him and, and Grant Cardone, uh, reading the 10X rule had skyrocketed my business, you guys. So the next one is Dan Locke. I don't really follow him too much, but I am, you can see, I am subscribed, so I do watch his, his videos. He talks a lot about high ticket, which has changed my business completely. Obviously, you can see my commissions rolling in. Uh, high ticket changed my business and my life. Uh, this one is Stefan Palernos. Stefan Palernos is someone who I started following a couple of years ago. Before I had any success, I started following Stefan Palernos because I just, I, I love, how he connects with his audience and how he builds his business. All right, he's he's one of the people who really inspired me. And actually, there's another one I want to share with you uh, before I forget, and that is Alex Becker. Now, a lot of you guys may not jive with everyone I'm talking about here, but uh, Alex Becker, uh, this dude is a serial entrepreneur. He has crazy success, uh, and I believe that he has multiple businesses I know of one doing over a million dollars a month and the cool thing the cool thing about Alex is that he was also in the Air Force and so for those of you who've been following me or, or you know my channel you know that I'm also in the military I am in the Air Force still to this day and the the success that I've been able to create with my business online uh, we'll see how that goes I do at this time plan on getting out 
uh, in 2019 and pursuing entrepreneurship full time. But Alex Becker was also a huge inspiration to me because I knew he was in the military, not only in the military, but he was also in the Air Force and goes on to make you know multi-million dollar business. So that was very inspiring. Uh, next is Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. Their uh, channel here is called Free or Video Influencers. And they talk a lot about how to grow a business on YouTube. And that's exactly what I've done. So this is one of the channels that I followed. Uh, another, there's actually a couple more. There's Daryl Eves as well, which I didn't pull up here. And then there's one more. So there was Daryl Eves and then, oh shoot, sorry, I'm forgetting his name. Um, but uh, he actually, let's just do this. Get more. So, oh, it's uh, video creators. Yeah, that's what it is. Video creators. So this is all raw, you guys. So I'm not gonna edit any of this. I'm just gonna keep this real. Video creators. Uh, Tim Schmoyer, that's his name. Tim Schmoyer with Video Creators. He is awesome and been very helpful in my journey to uh, creating a YouTube channel and growing that YouTube channel. Uh, the next one is Ricky Gutierrez with TechBud Solutions. This is something that I'm starting to look into, which is day trading. All right, trading in the stock market. Ricky has the largest YouTube channel on trading. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I recommend jumping over to Ted, TechBud Solutions. Uh, actually, his channel name is uh, Ricky Gutierrez, uh, but he's always active on here, which is why I believe the value he provides and the consistency, this guy's a beast. Uh, go check him out if you're into day trading. Uh, the next one is uh, Ryan Scribner. This guy's awesome. He has a lot of valuable information as well with personal finance. He also had some YouTube stuff on here and you can obviously see that uh, he has over 300,000 subscribers now. Congrats, Ryan. Looks like you just crossed that recently. Uh, that is awesome, but I recommend subscribing to him as well. Uh, and I have a couple more here. Of course, Kevin David. This guy is just a beast marketer when it comes to Facebook, Amazon FBA, and a few other things. He has courses where this guy generates millions of dollars uh, through his courses alone. Uh, and there's a reason for that because a lot of these guys, you, you, know, you have to understand that they have valuable information, which is why they sell it and why they're killing it. Um, and it can help you. So yeah, go check him out as well. And then the last one, that I wanted to share with you is Clark Kegley with Refusing to Settle. Uh, Clark also has been a huge inspiration to me. He has an amazing channel and I actually purchased his, his course for YouTube along with many other courses I've purchased because I know some people have that question but I do recommend going over, jumping over to his channel, subscribe to him and also pick up his course on uh, growing a a YouTube channel. Uh, so I personally do not have my own products out yet as far as like growing uh, with affiliate marketing, growing a YouTube channel, but I do plan on doing that you guys. I don't know if I'm going to release something before I get out of the military just for time constraints. You know, The number one thing that I think uh, people should do to grow their business is exactly what I do, which you know I try to lead by example, which is create content. And if you're wondering, you know, how how am I killing the game? You know, how am I making hundreds of thousands of dollars? How have I grown a YouTube channel to over 200,000 subscribers? And the number one thing that I preach to you guys is what I try to practice, and that is content creation. You're not gonna grow your business if you're not creating content. Now, if we're talking about paid ads, now that's, that's leveraging your money. So, okay, yes, you can grow a business with paid ads, I am, you know, I have done paid advertising. I'm not really heavy into it now, but I will get back into it uh, later on. But for most people who don't have an advertising budget, you wanna grow, you wanna become an online entrepreneur, anyone can. You can absolutely do it, and you can do it through content creation, right? And honestly, that's, that's how I, I, I've grown my business. It's crazy. That's how I had my first $10,000 month. My first six-figure month was all through free marketing by creating content, growing an email list. So I, I try to lead by example, you guys. And uh, so that's why you guys see me killing the game with content creation. Uh, you know, I'm always on here. Now I'm over 40 days straight without missing a single day with my YouTube uploads. Why? 
Why am I, why do you see me doing that? Because it works. If you wanna grow your influence, you wanna grow your income, you've got to press through what I call the ringer, okay? You've got to continue to create content even when you're not getting the results you want. That's what you have to understand is, you know, all these channels, all these influencers that I just shared with you, including myself, started with zero subscribers, started with zero people on an email list or, or Instagram following if that's what you're doing. No matter what it is, we all start from zero. But the people who make it are the ones who just push through and they don't stop and they hustle, all right? So I wanted to share that with you guys. Obviously what I shared with you, I do have multiple sources of income. Here's, here's another one and then I had another one but I'm, just, I'm not gonna show you anymore. That's, that's another one, 38 bucks today. Uh, the last one, two, three, four days, a couple hundred dollars more right there. So it, it's awesome, you guys. Creating a passive income, is it's, it's doable. And it's doable not just for people who are special, but anyone, all right? So I'll leave my affiliate marketing ebook in the description below. Uh, it's called Affiliate Marketing Riches. And I walk you guys exactly what I've done to create a multiple six-figure business with affiliate marketing. So I hope that you guys got value out of this video, different type of style, I know. I'd love to hear what you guys think of these types of videos. This is not really my go-to, and kind of, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but you know, I've done hundreds of videos at this point, so talking with you guys, uh, first of all, now I'm to the point where I love to communicate with you guys, to talk with you guys. So the day's not over. Um, I hope this video was inspiration to you guys. Uh, above all, go out there and create content. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.